Joey, you could easily call it Facebook for firemen, but it's actually a smartphone app called Who's Responding, and it sends fire alerts straight to firemen's phones, and they say it's making things a lot easier. Whenever you receive a call, it sends you an alert just as if you were receiving a phone call. Your fire tones go off, it shows you where the call is, you can map it out on GPS. Also, that the live dispatch is coming through, it's just like as if you carry a radio. The Walthall Volunteer Fire Department is one of many departments across the state who's getting access at the touch of a fingertip. Everyone has their phones on them. You may leave your radio at home, but you're always going to have your phone on you. A call comes in, rings through your phone, and all 36 of our members are receiving this call, and it has made our uh, response numbers pick up dramatically in the amount of people we've had responding to calls. Who's responding lets firefighters see exactly who is responding to calls and reaches responders at any time. It does allow you to be reached just about anywhere you have your phone. So it's a very useful tool and something that a lot of times that we have with our radios, we, doesn't, we don't have necessarily the best coverage sometimes in certain areas. This allows us to uh, receive notifications regardless of where we are. Volunteer firefighter Joe Hayes was in Memphis at a concert and received an alert. He says he's never seen anything like this in his two decades on the job. This is the first time we've had technology like this. Mm -hmm. When we began, all we had was pagers and so Many times we were going to fires with no communications. As a matter of fact, when we began, we had no 911. Easy access and better response time are good for the firemen, and the call savings are good for the taxpayers. A fire pager costs six hundred, five or six hundred dollars. A fire radio is, you know, for a handheld is four or five hundred dollars for us. And the fact now that we can use this out reduce the amount of radios we have to purchase, batteries we have to replenish, and radios that are being torn up. Now, the app won't replace the radios. They'll still be used to communicate with the dispatch and other fire departments. Joey?